Hi, this is Mick. I received a few phone calls and emails from people who are interested in the FTC option. They want to know what it is and how it works. Um, I have a template, it's 8.75 text and 8.75 in diameter. I'm not going to cut it, this is just in, um, a demo. So in Aspire I create the text and also I create a profile. So on a normal machine that would be two tap files, but with an FTC you use an ATC post processor so you can generate one file with two tap with uh, with two um, profiles in it. So I will demonstrate so I'm gonna demonstrate cutting that sign. I load the sign within WinCNC. That's what I'm doing now. I hit enter. It comes to the front of the machine. I would put in my V-carve bit. I'm not going to cut it, so I'm not going to tighten it. Just tighten it by hand. I've installed my bit. I hit enter. Go across. Um, go down. I have a switch on mine. Mine is maybe a little bit different than the, the Cam Master setup. But the principle is the same. The router would come on now, but I turned it off. It will go across. It will cut the text. Instead of 8.75, I just did the letter 1 or the number 1. When it's finished, it comes up, comes to the front of the table. I take out this bit, install my profile bit which is a quarter of an inch end mill. I place it in the collet, tighten it up, but again, demo purposes. I hit enter, goes across, rapids down to a set location, then it feeds at a set feed rate, touch, Wait for the router to start up. Then instead of doing a large circle, I just drew a small circle. And that's it. So you can see that an FTC is basically once it's set up, 